Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the new Tech Suite program preview. In this session, we will give you an overview of the various program streams that you can take within the new data programs here at McMaster Continuing Education, as well as our open source intelligence and AWS Academy programs. My name is Sarah McMath. I'll be facilitating the session today. Okay, so we offer certificate programs in data analytics data science, and big data programming and architecture, which are what we'll be focusing on today. We'll also briefly touch on our recently launched open source intelligence and AWS Academy programs. The primary difference between the first three data program streams shown here is that the data analytics is entry level, the data science program is intermediate, and big data programming and architecture is an advanced program. Data analytics welcomes people with limited work or academic background who want to break into a field working with tech and data or want to uh, want more analytics as part of their current job. Students or recent grads who have completed courses related to analytics, stats, or business intelligence in their previous education or professionals with work experience in data analytics would be fit to pursue the data science program. Big data programming and architecture stream uh, requires a degree or a diploma in science, computer science, technology, mathematics, business or engineering, or prior work experience in tech and data related fields, such as data analytics, data science, computer science, or IT. We also offer a certificate of completion in each stream, which would require you to complete only three courses instead of five. This could be a good option for those of you who are intending to acquire prerequisite knowledge in only a few topics, or if you're looking for a high level acquaintance with select topics and you just want to learn very specific content like uh, machine learning, big data or cloud platform, and you wanna add these to your skill sets to prepare for a professional designation or for a um, career development down the road. Okay, so there are seven elective courses in the data analytics program. At least five courses must be completed to receive the certificate. The first two courses are recommended if you have limited or no background uh, and previous experience in computer programming or uh, statistics. Program courses should be completed in the listed order shown here. The last course there is recommended uh, in case you're interested to follow up with the data science program certificate after graduation from the data analytics program. The statistics and data anal uh, analysis course here is a prerequisite for the data analytics and modeling course. Um, Non-credit open source intelligence courses, uh, OSI 101 and OSI 102, can be applied toward a certificate in data analytics on a case-by-case uh, -case basis. Uh, just make sure you check the data analytics webpage for more information about open source intelligence courses. And stay tuned for more uh, program information on the OSI program in the next part of our webinar here today. The data analytics program is offered uh, online or in a virtual classroom format. The course length varies for different courses. Uh, virtual classroom courses will use a combination of live, real-time instructor-led sessions and asynchronous activities that will equal about three hours of teaching content uh, per week. Okay, moving on to data science. There are seven elective courses in the data science program. Uh, at least five courses must be completed to receive the certificate. Basic computer programming and the stats course from the data analytics stream or the first course listed here in the data science program are uh, recommended for students who have limited or no background or work experience in computer programming and stats. This program here is designed to have uh, each course built on the previous course. So it's recommended that you complete your courses in the listed order shown here. Machine learning for big data is recommended for students interested in pursuing the big data programming and architecture program after they complete data science. And the capstone course should be completed in the final term of your study. 
an introductory statistics course or the first course listed in the data science stream and data analytics and modeling courses are prerequisites for the remaining courses. Uh, in terms of format, the data science program is offered in a virtual classroom format. Uh, virtual, virtual classroom sessions are held uh, at a scheduled day and time each week, and they use a combination of live, real-time, instructor-led sessions, and then asynchronous activities uh, equivalent to three hours of teaching content per week. Okay, moving on to the Big Data Programming and Architecture program. There are six selective courses in this program. Uh, you do need to take at least five courses to earn your certificate. And the first course shown here is recommended for students with limited background and work experience in data management. It is again recommended that you complete the courses in the order listed here. The cloud course is a good start for those of you interested in pursuing a designation such as a certified cloud practitioner or cloud solutions architect. Uh, the cloud course will segue into the new AWS Academy Cloud program. I'll share more information about the AWS program at the end of today's session. And again, the capstone course should be completed in your final term of study. And an intermediate or advanced statistic course, data analytics, and computer programming are prerequisites for most of the courses listed here. Uh, to comment again on the format here, so these are the virtual classroom format and sessions are held at the same scheduled day and time each week and they'll use a combination of live, real-time, instructor-led sessions and some asynchronous activities equivalent to three hours of teaching content uh, per week. Okay, so for our admission requirements, uh, there's no formal application process to begin uh, any of the data analysis programs. To enroll in a course and join a program, you simply register online, um, but you are responsible for ensuring that you do meet uh, the following requirements based on your education and work experience. Um, so for data science, you need to have that introductory level academic or work experience in data, data analytics and statistics. And for the advanced program, big data programming and architecture, you need to ensure you have an intermediate level uh, academic or work experience in data analytics and statistics. Um, definitely need to have some proficiency in computer programming applications such as Microsoft Word, Excel, and Access, uh, particularly for the data science, sorry, data science and uh, big data programming and architecture programs. Uh, and then lastly, be a mature student as defined by the undergraduate calendar of McMaster or be deemed an exceptional case. Um, prospective students within this category can contact uh, Maddie, you can reach out to the program for consultation and evaluation of past education and professional experience. Uh, all of our data analytics programs follow a uh, bring your own device policy. The minimum level of laptop requirement is listed in the course outline uh, for any courses that do demand specific resources. Um, but this is really only for, for one course, DAT. Uh, DAT 302 data programming one. Okay, so uh, we can talk a little bit about some of the career outcomes by participation uh, in these programs. Uh, data analytics and data science streams could lead to a career in technology, informatics, business intelligence, web analytics, and foundational data analysis or machine learning. And big data programming and architecture could be a starting point for a career path in big data architecture, data engineering, cloud technology, and web analytics across many different businesses. Uh, there, there are a lot of jobs or types of jobs to explore as analytics and data related roles are found in multiple industries and service sectors. So potential job titles that you could come across would be things like data analysts, uh, business data analyst, uh, data reporting analyst, statistical analyst, database analyst, business insights manager or analyst, uh, data quality manager or analyst, uh, digital analyst, analytics, uh, marketing analyst, data specialist, uh, machine learning engineer, 
data engineer, or data architect. So the salary range for data analyst positions is roughly about $40,000 to $70,000 annually. And the salary range for machine learning or data science roles is about $60,000 to $100,000 uh, or $70,000 to $130,000 for data architect positions. We're moving on to the timeline here of the programs. Um, we'll take a look at each of the three different streams and the duration for each. Um, so first, just taking a look at the timeline for the data analytics program. So this is the entry level program. Um, it can be completed in either an online or virtual classroom format. So there's two different course format options for this program. Uh, it's really up to you how many courses you take per term. Many of our students take between one or two courses per term. Uh, in general, we advise that you budget about seven to nine hours per week per course. Uh, and we do advise that you complete the program within three years or less. The online courses are asynchronous, meaning there's no set time that you have to be online each week and there are no live sessions. Virtual classroom uh, courses, on the other hand, do have a live uh, online three hour class once a week. And that class is divided into one and a half hours of lecture and one and a half hours of lab application time. Um, instructors and lab coaches are available to assist you as you apply your learning to specific data analysis activities. And the live virtual classroom sessions are scheduled uh, once a week, usually on a weekday evening or a weekend to try and accommodate uh, most people's regular working hours. Okay, so we'll take a look at the timeline to finish now for the intermediate level program, the data science program. Uh, this program can be completed in a virtual classroom format. Uh, again, it is up to you how many courses you take per term. Many of our students take between one or two courses. Um, and same for this program, you do want to budget about seven to nine hours per week per course and complete the program within three years or less. And then for the advanced program, the big data programming and architecture program, here's a uh, suggested schedule of courses shown here. Um, you could do the program in as quickly as three terms in a virtual classroom format. Um, but again, it is up to you how many courses you take. Same amount of time, about seven to nine hours per week per course. And we suggest you complete the program within three years again. Okay, so we'll just discuss a little bit about, uh, I'll talk a little bit about the Open Source Intelligence Program. This is a, a new program that we've launched recently. Um, the OSI Certificate of Completion um, involves uh, the first two courses in the program are introductory and more general purpose toolkits. So these could be used for other uh, analytics related fields. These courses are cross-listed in the data analytics uh, certificate programs and you can see that uh, on each of the program pages as well if you visit the website. Uh, open source intelligence collects data from publicly available online sources. So information can come from places such as government and business websites, social media posts, blogs, news, um, geolocation, metadata, imagery networks, and even the dark web. Our open source intelligence program will teach you current real world skills, techniques and tools to effectively gather and investigate OSI data. Uh, within this program, you'll learn how to work with the latest tech and research techniques to find relevant information from a wide range of sources. You'll identify cyber threats and safeguard your privacy online and learn to process information prepare data and analysis and visualization, uh, produce reports and apply appropriate insights. You'll also be able to conduct basic and advanced analysis of collected data and construct models to forecast possible future outcomes. Okay, so for our OSI or OSINT courses, these are also uh, offered in a virtual classroom format. Uh, the program has a collection of four courses 
and students must complete all four courses to receive a certificate of completion. Again, there's no formal application process for this program. To enroll for a course, you simply register online through the website. The first two courses shown here could be offered as standalone general level courses and students can take those concurrently if you like. Uh, but the program is designed to have each course build on the previous course. So the first two courses are really required for the second two courses shown here. Uh, the program could be completed in two terms if you took two courses per, uh, per semester. Um, again, they're scheduled in that virtual classroom format where you would attend for three hours for a live session uh, once a week. Um, and these courses are a little bit shorter. They tend to be about eight weeks in duration. In terms of career outcomes for uh, open source intelligence, uh, originally used by the US military, uh, today many organizations are using OSI across uh, various departments to effectively access intelligence that will advance their business and protect their information and just generally uh, optimize the efficiency of their operations. A few examples of OSI's advantages across different businesses are law enforcement agencies. Uh, they're better able to monitor national security and predict future actions. Financial institutions can identify money laundering activities more effectively. I IT departments are better equipped to detect cyber threats. Insurance companies can expose claims fraud, claim, sorry, fraudulent claims faster. HR or human resources can investigate employees and potential candidates. Marketing departments can effectively analyze marketplace trends and track competitors. We do have a series of uh, short course webinars that are usually about 90 minutes in length that speak to different flavors of OSI. Uh, these series demonstrate different use cases, which could provide even more insight on how advantageous it can be to leverage OSI in your field of work. So please keep an eye on our short courses page on the website and our social media accounts if you'd like to learn more about the upcoming open source intelligence events. Okay, and the last program, the final program that we are discussing today is Amazon Web Services. Uh, AWS is one of the popular cloud platforms offering comprehensive data analytics services. AWS platform has been broadly adopted in many businesses and uh, are really leading to a growing job market demand for cloud specialization and AWS certified cloud practitioners. The average AWS certified skills salary is about $90,000 a year. Our AWS cloud courses are professional development courses. They're offered for individuals willing to learn in-demand AWS cloud skills, acquire real-world business experience, prepare for certification, um, and the AWS courses are open enrollment uh, like our other data programs. So each course is set as a separate certificate of completion. Cloud Foundations is an intro-level 10-week course, and the Cloud Architecting is a 12-week course. You can visit the website uh, to view course outlines and the schedule for more details. Uh, in terms of format, these classes are also offered in a virtual classroom. Uh, they're scheduled on an evening or weekend, once per week. And classes will use a combination of live, real-time, instructor-led sessions, and then also some asynchronous activities. Okay, I'll just take a moment to uh, quickly point out our contact information here as well. If you do have uh, any more detailed questions or looking for any support, you can send us an email at mce at mcmaster.ca. Uh, and I'd be happy to help you or my colleague Jesus uh, can assist you as well if you have any questions. And then our website is there, of course, too, if you're looking for more detailed information, uh, the schedule, course outlines, anything along those lines is uh, posted online. So thanks very much. Have a great day, everyone.